Well, rotavirus, known to most of us as the stomach flu, is one of the most common infections for children. Tens of thousands of children are actually sent to the hospital each and every year with this. And just this week, we have seen local schools close because of similar cases. Well, WATE 6 on your side anchor Lori Tucker has much more in tonight's Caring for Our Kids. Lori. Uh, yeah, thank you, Kristen. You know, most children will come down with the rotavirus before they reach the age of five, but there are ways we understand to prevent it and not just treat it. So so joining me now to talk about that is Dr. Kristen Farr from Children's Hospital. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks Good to see me. you again. So let's start by explaining some of the uh, common symptoms of rotavirus that parents need to look for. Absolutely. So vomiting, um, fevers can go along with the virus, and most, um, most specifically it's, it's diarrhea, um, pretty watery diarrhea. Just um, a so terrible it. time for the kids. It is. It's <laughs> just not good at all. Is this contagious when we're talking about those symptoms? Highly contagious. Yeah, so that's why good hand washing is critical, but it's it's very, very contagious, which is why also it it's kind of prevalent in, in younger children. Right. So. How to get a two. I was just talking with a friend today. How do I get my three year old to do that all the time? Yes. Wash their hands. <laughs> so that's tough. Let's talk about vaccines because correct me if I'm wrong. Babies can get these, right? Absolutely. So we start usually the, the vaccine um, at two months of age. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get it at two, four and six months. And there's another vaccine you can get it two and four months. So um, right. yeah, we start it young. Very young. And yeah. what is the vaccine called? Um, well, those Rotatech is, is the Rotatech. Kind of the okay, mm -hmm. very good. And when do you need to make sure that, that you need to get your child to the hospital? So what we worry about is dehydration. It's all supportive care. So you basically want to make sure your child is, is drinking well. But if they stop making wet diapers, stop making tears mm -hmm. when they're crying, um, then that's a sign of dehydration. Absolutely. And how long do symptoms typically last? Um, well, it, it depends. It can last, uh, gosh, uh, up to a week sometimes with, for the diarrhea. So um, it just depends on each case, but uh, but it can be a while. So. Wow. And, you know, we hear about so many kids being sick right now. Are you seeing some of this right now? Absolutely. We've started seeing it. Yeah. Yeah, at the Children's Hospital now, so it's hmm. the time of year for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, because you're seeing it, how long has the vaccine been around? Oh, gosh, I mean, are I some kids not vaccinated for it, obviously, or they, how does that happen? They, they should be. The problem is if you don't get your child vaccinated uh, during the appropriate time, it, you can only you can only do it in the infancy period. So okay. um, so really, if, if we miss, um, you know, if we miss a child, then they're not eligible to, to get it. So that's really why it's important, you know, at two months to really try to take your child to, to have them vaccinated. But, Very good but there are know. children that aren't vaccinated, unfortunately. Yeah, so. oh, they get so sick. All right. Yes. Thank you so much Absolutely. for being with us. We appreciate yes. it, Dr. Farr. And if you have a question about your child's health, just email me at ltucker at wate.com. And be sure to tune in every Thursday here on WATE 6 on your side news at 530 to see if we use your question on the air.